only thing, Dana White said this, Dana White, Dana White said, said that. that. Yeah, so. I, I got nothing. What I announced the other night at the Celtics game is, is where we're at right now. Nothing has changed. So did nothing get, done with Mayweather, not, you know. No, nothing's changed. Next week. Did he sign the executable agreement? Who? Connor? Yeah. How much money? He's going to make a couple bucks. He's going to do all right. <laughs> Listen, if this fight goes off, if it even happens, and if, uh, you know, the thing does what everybody thinks it can do, Connor's going to make a lot of money. Do you think the, the tie will be just to the amount of money that's in this contract, whether Mayweather? Is it all about that dollar amount? In your, in your in your opinion, is does it all hinge upon the dollar amount on that contract for Mayweather to sign it? No, on Mayweather's side, it's, it's going to be whether we can come to a deal or not to put on this event. Pacquiao took 40% against 60 for Mayweather. You know, and he was the number one boxer in the world for quite a long time. So how could Conor reasonably expect to get more than what Manny Pacquiao got? Who doesn't think that Conor isn't a global star? I mean, Conor's well, as... with Manny. Huh? Yeah. I think Conor's bigger than Pacquiao. As, as Pete? I mean, now, yes, but yeah. as Pete? Well, when they fought. Definitely. When they fought. You said you lost the date when uh, Triple G and Canelo are fighting on September 16th. Well, where, where, do, where do you go now? Do, is December that was the 2nd? date we were planning yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Any don't know. ideas? Can, can we get a deal done? Yeah. You, can you? You can't really. That's why I can't look at losing the date. I don't even have a deal. Heyman says no one from the UFC has talked to him yet. Have, when will you guys reach there you out? Go. <laughs> that's funny. There you go. What's the sticking point on it? Who we'll talked to Heyman? Heyman's a ghost. Nobody even gets to talk to Heyman. Well, you did? Yeah? In your opinion, what do you think is the sticking point to making it happen? Besides Mayweather. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, I haven't heard anything yet. Once we sit down and I start hearing, you know, what they think their side of it is, then we then we find out. Let me ask you a logistic thing. Let's assume miracle upon miracle you get the fight done. Is it going to be a UFC card? Is it going to be a boxing undercard? It would be boxing. It would be a totally boxing yeah. undercard. So it would be a Mayweather Promotions card with Probably. the main event being your fight. Okay. Given that, what do you think you can do on pay-per-view? I don't know. Because Mayweather Promotions is probably not going to put much of an undercard. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, the, it's going to be a typical boxing match where it's all about the main event and, and, and not, you know, the undercard. That's boxing. Also, I mean, since there has to be money guaranteed, does it behoove you to bring in Showtime as like a uh, co or no? You want to do it all? I don't know. Safe. I don't know. we got to sit down and start. I, you know, um, this won't be a UFC event. It's going to be a boxing event. So international is wide open. You know, every, the slate is clear on our side to, to do whatever. I don't know what obstacles or hurdles they have to jump over. Well, they claim I, they have a Showtime deal. There you go. So there we go. Okay. They have a Showtime deal, and what else? What other what other things are lying in there that we don't know about? You don't know until you start negotiating. You talked about a deadline for Connor. Is there a deadline to try to get Floyd done where you say, you know, look, I, I do want Connor to fight twice this year. We've got to make a deal by X date, or Connor we're going to have to move fight on. twice this year. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it, listen, when you get in and you start negotiating, you start hearing the things that are on their side, you'll know real quick whether we can do a deal or not. Yeah, whatever the split is. Connor's ready to fight. You know how he is. So saying, so is there you know, like a backup at plan? first, when when this whole thing was going down, he's like, "Whatever, man. If, if we lose the date, and this happens, or whatever, then just tell me, tell me you want to fight, and let's do this." That's the way he is. So he's not too he's not too hard to deal with when it comes to fighting. He's ready to fight. Could we see him fight on international fight league? No, that's that's too soon. Do you believe if he loses the fight, which most people think he would? that he would fight beyond that? I do. He says, win, lose, or draw, Mayweather fight, he wants to fight again before the end of the year. And, and then the other thing is, Dana, from your standpoint, you know, people say it's going to forever damage your brand if he loses to Mayweather. Can you talk about how, you know, hypothetically he loses, how you, you can say it's, I think it's a boxing people, match? The people realize that Connor's stepping into a one-dimensional game, whereas over here it's a fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's going into boxing, very one-dimensional. Oh, in, in a real fight, McGregor kills him in 30 seconds in a real fight. You know, this is a boxing match. He's going into boxing. See how it goes. One thing that's for sure, Connor will fight him. Connor will go after him, and we'll see what happens. 
what is the point? Like, I understand, you know, it's going to sell a ton, right? But beyond the money, like, a guy that's never boxed before against a guy that is the greatest boxer of this generation, what is the point of that? They want to fight. This wasn't me. I didn't say, hey, let's go out and chase Mayweather around and see if we can get a fight. Those two organically started talking to each other. This happened. And you can say it's not a fight or whatever, but it's all anybody wants to talk about. Everywhere I go, everything I do, that's all they want to talk about. I went to the Celtics game the other night. TNT comes down and says, hey, would you do our after show? Yeah, I'm all pumped up about the Celtics pregame. I'm ready to go. We lose, and I'm ready to talk about the Celtics. I don't want to talk about the Celtics. They want to talk about McGregor and Mayweather. You know? That's all anybody wants to talk about. So people can say it's, it's ridiculous. It's not a fight. It should never happen. It's lopsided. It'll be this and that. It is all anybody wants to hear about. And what do you do for guys like Tony Ferguson? Because if that fight happens, it's going to look like a year between title defenses. So you have no lightweight title defense all of 2017, and you got your lightweight division. Is this I had a fight for Tony Ferguson. He turned it down. Is that the Diaz fight? He had the fight, and he trained for a fight, and it didn't. He said he trained for a fight. He was ready for a fight. I offered him a fight, and he turned the fight down. He had the opportunity to fight. What was the fight? Was it Diaz? Huh? Was the fight Diaz? Diaz? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, the fight was uh, Michael Johnson. Oh, yeah, that day. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you see promotion-wise, Dana, for Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather fight? You see it as an insane promotion? I mean, sir, you've seen a lot of crazy promotions before. This, yeah. This yeah. Be too yeah. Usually when guys do press conferences with Floyd, they clam up and they don't say anything. That won't be the case in this one, you know. It's going to be, uh, you know, <laughs> the press conference will probably be better than the fight. <laughs> I wrote that yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you build certain <laughs> promotional things into Connor? Huh? Did you build certain promotional things into Connor's part of the deal? What do you mean as far as what? Like, like guaranteed appearances or press conferences or anything like that? Um, would, would it matter? <laughs> would it make a difference? No. Are you going to show up 30 minutes early if I put it in his contract? <laughs> no. Um... Yeah, I mean, all the, all the normal stuff that's in there, you know, you have to you have to do what you're supposed to do and all that stuff's in there, so we'll see, man. We'll see if we can even do this fight. MGM for Pacquiao Mayweather did a $72 million gate. I don't know why it was so high, but do you think this fight could approach that gate-wise? I don't know. I don't know what's possible. I, I, all I'm thinking about right now is going in and and seeing if we can get a deal done with, with the Mayweather side. And then if we do, we, 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 we start negotiating how the tickets work. And I mean, forget about the deal. If you start looking at, you know, how big is the ring going to be? How, what kind of gloves are you going to wear? Uh, uh, is it going to be a slow ring or a fast ring? Is it going to be, you know, just that type of stuff. Who's going to be the referee? And, Here's a question, too, for you, Dana. If um Connor goes into that fight and then you decide you can't make a deal. So he's agreed, he wants to fight, and he's expecting to make X figure, right? Everybody bandies about $100 million. But whatever that figure is, a lot of money, a lot more than he's ever made. Now that fight does not happen, and he comes back and has to fight on the UFC pay scale, even though he's higher than the rest of them. Don't you have some bitterness there, and aren't you concerned about Connor, the way he Connor would react was ready to, to fight last week when I said we lost the date. So we lost the date because we, we were right? all kind of, we were all kind of, you know, expecting to fight in September if the thing could happen. I fell off of Conor goes, then get me another fight and I'll fight. I don't know. Let's talk about who I'm going to fight. And you didn't want. And what? You did not want. Well, what? no, we were still going back and forth with, you know. Right. Oh, when they got that's that right. gate. He hasn't talked to anybody yet. I forgot. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I gotta Thanks, go. Dana. I got Musashi waiting for me.